What happens if you take creatine every day for 30 days? Creatine is popular among athletes who practice sports that require short and intense power outputs. Many even consider it a steroid, while in reality, it's an integral part of cellular and bodily function. It is synthesized in the liver and kidneys, and transported by the blood to our muscles to supply energy for muscle contraction. In this video, I'll tell you what will happen to your body if you take creatine every day for 30 days. So, watch the video till the end. It will be very useful and interesting. What is creatine? Creatine is a nitrogenous organic acid that is involved in energy metabolism in muscle and nerve cells. Most often, creatine is used to increase the efficiency of physical activity and increase muscle mass. Creatine is found in meat and fish and is also partly synthesized from amino acids. According to experts, the daily norm for an athlete is 2 to 4 grams. To get this amount of creatine from regular food, you need to eat at least 200 grams of beef or other red meat per day, which is quite difficult. In addition, this will lead to an additional load on the internal organs. So, creatine supplement is recommended for absolutely all athletes. Why do you need creatine? Creatine helps to cope with pain and physical discomfort. In addition, creatine helps to strengthen joints and tendons and replenishes energy reserves. The use of creatine has an impact on strength and endurance. During hard training, the body, first of all, turns to this particular source of energy. Thus, ATP and glycogen are saved, which increases strength indicators, and allows you to quickly move on to increasing the load. With the constant intake of creatine, the muscles increase, and acquire roundness due to the accumulation of fluid in the cells. In this case, an increase in exclusively dry muscle mass without fat occurs. Creatine accelerates the rate of recovery and growth of muscle tissue. Creatine improves the quality of the nutrient medium of the muscles, thereby providing a supply of glycogen and muscle building material. The use of creatine helps to lower cholesterol levels, which prevents the occurrence of heart attack and other cardiovascular diseases. Creatine naturally regulates the correct rhythm of heart contractions. Creatine helps to avoid muscle breakdown during cutting. For weight loss, it can be used to increase the intensity of training. Is creatine bad for you? The contraindication to the use of creatine is pregnancy. Children, asthmatics, allergy sufferers, diabetics, and people with renal insufficiency should consult a doctor beforehand. No side effects have been reported from creatine consumption. This is not surprising since the substance itself is natural. As a rule, its excess is excreted from the body without adversely affecting the internal organs. However, a significant excess of the norm can cause a number of negative consequences, such as edema, dehydration, digestive disorders and convulsions. However, all these manifestations are extremely rare. The main conditions for comfortable use of the supplement are an active lifestyle or the presence of constant training, as well as drinking enough water. How to take creatine properly? The daily dose is 2 to 4 grams. We are talking about creatine monohydrate, the most effective supplement. This compound is also often found in pre-workout supplements, so if you use one of them, it is quite possible that you don't need to purchase anything extra. It is recommended to take creatine on an empty stomach, for example, immediately after a workout. On the days between workouts, it is appropriate to take a serving of creatine before one of your meals. How to choose the best creatine? You can buy creatine at any specialized store. The effectiveness of creatine doesn't depend on the form of release of the supplement. The package usually contains instructions for use. Creatine is a useful and quite potent supplement, so you need to responsibly approach its purchase and use. Proper use will allow you to achieve impressive results in a short time. Now let's move on to the most common questions about creatine. Does creatine help to gain muscle mass? Yes, it helps. There is a combination of factors at work here. Strength increases and, as a result, the effectiveness of training. 
Water is retained in the muscles. The secretion of anabolic hormones increases. In addition, creatine acts as a lactic acid buffer, thus speeding up post-workout recovery. Do you need to take creatine while cutting? Yes, taking creatine during cutting is advisable because it promotes fat burning, helps maintain strength during a low-carb diet. The positive effect of creatine on muscle gain reduces the risk of muscle loss during cutting. Do you need to take breaks from taking creatine? Breaks in creatine intake are not strictly necessary. But they are nevertheless desirable in order to minimize the theoretical risk of side effects and maintain the body's susceptibility to creatine. You can take creatine for one and a half to two months and then take a break of two to four weeks. Should beginners take creatine? Yes, it is advisable for beginners to take creatine. This will help them reach the physical conditions of advanced athletes faster. Over 50% of professional power athletes are reportedly using creatine, but what can you expect? Share your thoughts in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. If you like the video, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel. Links are on the screen right now.